Gene Sperling on Reddit <coughs> doing one of those Ask Me Anythings. And he, um, he talks about the CPI not just in the context of trying to avert the sequester or to um, basically over, you know, um, relitigate the sequester, but as in a long-term agenda that they have had. This chain CPI now has been embraced, at least by Nancy Pelosi, uh, saying that, well, if we can figure out how to cut Social Security but protect the poor and, and sick, now understand that 65%... The answer is clearly welfare reform. Well, first off... If it's not a cut, right? If it's simply a more accurate way of measuring inflation, why would you need to protect those people? Right? I mean, what what are you protecting them from? A more accurate way of we, No, it's a benefit we, cut. We want to protect the people from not hurting them. Right. Yes, we <laughs> want to make sure they're protected from not being hurt from something that we're doing that is not hurting them. Uh and that will will make it all uh all well. But um th- we have 65% now. Uh, no, excuse me, 66% of Americans over the age of 65 depend on an average annual Social Security benefit of $15,168 for at least half of their income. So I don't know what percentage of people, basically they're talking about put a, a means test exclusively on, you know, and, and that next quintile, that just means maybe they, they rely on it for 40% of their income in old age. They want to means test this for the top uh, um, a few percent of people. We know that creating an apparatus to do so will basically provide you no savings at the end of the day. There's a much easier way of doing this. You've already stated it. Remove the cap. Um, uh, increase progressive taxation. Uh, and, and the 50 other ways we've discussed before. 50 too. other ways. And in the context of all these budget fighting now, we see uh, the uh, Progressive Caucus has come out with their Making America Work uh, budget, following up their people's uh, budget from last year. It is the only sound budget um, that uh, people are suggesting. It calls for increased taxes, but a lot more stimulating of the, of the uh, economy right now. It, it calls for uh, greater government services. It's the only one that even the wonks are looking at and saying is adding up. And I will say, the difference between the response to this budget versus even the last one, the people's budget, uh, is, is, is encouraging. Because you actually now have wonks who, you know, guys like Ezra Klein, who are taking it seriously because... You know, why would you take Paul Ryan's budget seriously, which says basically get rid of Medicare? Uh, and you know what? That actually to me is just as encouraging as how many fewer people yes. took Paul Ryan's budget seriously this time. Th- thankfully, maybe, I don't know, if Krugman deserves the credit for <clears throat> constantly banging and drumming and being like, this is not a serious guy. This is, this, is, this is the equivalent of my giving my three-year-old a couple of crayons and letting him go scribble some things on right, the wall. Right, right. Is, there's nothing serious about this. That's coming from me, not Krugman. But, but the, Krugman was basically making that point, that you can write a bunch of numbers on paper, and that doesn't make it reasonable. and doesn't make them add up. Right. And again, because so it, it really seems like he's getting hammered this time over the Obamacare. Oh, we'll get rid of Obamacare. Oh, you know, get over it, pal. You right. got waxed in right. the last election. Nobody likes you. You look like Eddie Munster. You're really annoying. Um, just Wait, shut but up. But I mean, juxtapose this. <clears throat> I mean, <clears throat> you know, there was a lot of uh, issues that I had with uh, Dennis Kucinich, but um, but his uh, suggestion that we get rid of uh, the Defense Department was considered, you know, w- was put on par with, oh, and why don't we just ma- wave a-, a magic wand? Well, the idea of getting rid of Obamacare at this point is also similarly, I think, yes. uh, um, uh, fantastical. And... Um, and uh, would leave us, I would, I would argue, far more exposed in many respects. But again, uh, also, at least in Paul Ryan's case, he never benefited from the government. So Right, yeah, exactly. So I feel a lot better saying that because basically from the ages of, age of about 12 till yesterday, he didn't benefit from the government in every way imaginable. Right. Famously, uh, yeah. it was Social Security that basically kept him from falling through the cracks. Government uh, contracts, built his family's wealth. He went and worked for every government entity you could find. Maybe he even created a couple new government entities just so he could work for them. And here he is. And and so uh, back in the context of, of the Sorry, CPI, no, no, that's fine. The um, uh, Pelosi 
yesterday, I guess it was, or two days ago, uh, said, if we can demonstrate that it doesn't hurt the poor and the very elderly about the CPI, then let's take a look at it. She's in the past come out with it, saying that it wasn't cuts. I think the ball is moving in that way. I think even in the context of my debate with Jonathan Alter, he at one point said, well, I mean, put aside the CPI at one point and means test. But uh, we have now... And there's a lot of senators, I want to be clear, because I've seen some of these... Um, and I have, uh, I should disclose, I've consulted for Social Security Works in the past. I'm not right now, but I still feel strongly about the issue. And so I've seen some of these documents and saying there are a number of, of Senate Democrats standing up strongly. That may be the Guys place. Guys like White House, I think, yep. uh, is certainly <clears throat> one of them. And there, I think there's probably uh, about a dozen that have the, signed uh, The Senate may be the place we could stop that thing. Yes. It might be. And so call your senator and make sure they know your feelings on well, this. The well, other, the other important fact, though, <coughs> is that we can also stop this in the House. When you now have 100 um, uh, Democratic uh, congresspeople, essentially the, um, uh, you know, the progressive caucus plus, who are basically saying don't touch Social Security, this is important because... It will put the onus on the Republicans to pass any proposal to cut Social Security. And as much as they claim they want to do that, they don't want to be the ones to do that. No. Because that will put them in a very, very uh, tenuous position in 2014. And, uh, and well, this is the stuff we've talked about. What they yes. want is they want Social Security and Medicare cut. President By Obama the Democrats. to do it, and then they get to attack the Democrats and, in 2014. And with, a, with a, uh, a majority in the House that is made up in equal parts uh, Democrats and Republicans, if not more uh, Democrats. And so while— in equal part people in their own coalition suffering from paranoid delusions. Yes, and, 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 and so why, uh, while the, this uh, any type of increased revenues that are married with this position may be the poison pill— and that is the argument that people make. Yep. President Obama needs to do this to seem reasonable, uh, but he hasn't there's done a poison that, But I mean, honestly, <laughs> like you know, where where is the benefit of this reasonableness? Even if you were to stipulate that he has won over the reasonable class in the establishment in Washington, to what benefit to his agenda? Or to the country. I think you're being pretty unfair, Sam. Some people got a really <laughs> nice $85 dinner out of this. Well, that's... Uh, and so there are some benefits to his being reasonable. Though. Indeed. I, think, I, think I guess you, you got uh, Republican senators who are now uh, eating well. I heard uh, that Lindsey Graham had the best time he's ever had when not rug shopping with John McCain. Yeah, there in the you go. Sure high market. So uh, that's important to note. He may be a little happier, and we may not have to hear long stories uh, during sessions about how he, could, he would defend his house with his AR-15. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.